in my family, my my nuclear family was not the only family in my family that was clergy. In fact, my mother's uh, br- two of my mother's brothers were also pastors, and um, the brother that wasn't had kids who were. And my dad, my dad's sister was married to a pastor, and it was like. Going to either side of the family was like going to a pastor's conference. Um, and so I am the only Catholic on either side of the family, I mean, biologically linked to this either side. It was a big, big deal, that whole idea of, and me not wanting to tell my parents initially the rumble that we were going through because I didn't want them at all to feel that, uh, I was leaving the faith that they poured into me. I was going deeper. And I was so grateful that when I, when I contacted my mom, exactly what Denise said, my mom was, I just think, anointed by the Lord. She said, Joe, this is all about mission. She said, the earth, the Bible says that the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, like the, like the waters cover the sea. How could that happen without the Catholics? They're everywhere. And she said, if God is calling you in, you have to go all the way in. And she said, in the words of Mary, do whatever he tells you. She, she had no idea the, the depth of prophetic power those words had. And one of the things, being a scholar myself, I couldn't stop asking the questions until I had a PhD in ecclesial leadership, you know. Um, and that's one of the things that brought me home. But I have scholar friends who say, well, what do you do when you disagree with the church? And my first response is, I assume I don't have the, the, all the answers anymore. And I, I, I want to convert their little voice into say, what do you do if you disagree? You know, <laughs> because the, the comfort is I am now plunged into the global church in a new way, and the ancient faith in an unbroken conversation. So obviously, I'm missing stuff. I start with the assumption that I'm missing stuff. So I don't have to start with, well, I have, I've, I've read, so therefore I can stand over this universe of knowledge that I just got here for, you know. Um, and so that's deeply relieving to me. Those are the big things that that I d- so profoundly embrace that I could never ever not be Catholic now. Matt, yeah, I got it. Yeah, just go ahead. With one, one um, thought. I think with regard to the legacy question, one of the things that began to really resonate with me when I first became Catholic was the reality that if you go back far enough in any of our families, whether or not we have lots of missionaries or pastors in our families, if we go back far enough, we are either pagan or we're Catholic. So, so the legacy question is, I have joined the legacy of my family. I don't know how far back, but it is not abandoning any legacy at all, but it's reclaiming a legacy um, of a church history that had been lost in, in the Re- Reformation. And thanks be to God... Um, I didn't lose anything. I gained everything in all of the treasure chests um, of all of the de- denominations that really go back to the full treasure chest of the Catholic Church. I love that. I love that. And I would add one thing, and that is because we moved so much, we didn't have a deep, we had a love for, but not a deep connection and hangout connection with any of my extended family growing up. And the local church was constantly moving, and so it felt like we were always on the outside trying to make our way in. And being plunged, plunged into the legacy of the Catholic Church, I, in such a deep sense, I feel like I am home anywhere in the world. When I go to the Basilica in D.C., when I go to you know the Spanish missions in California, I walk in and I'm like, welcome to my home. This is, let me show you around. I don't even have to have been there before, but I know now how to show people this legacy that is now mine, you know, Mm -hmm. and that is so meaningful to someone who always felt like a nomad, always felt like I didn't get to have roots, you know, and that was a sacrifice that I would just give up to the Lord. It's like that hunger 
is satisfied by plunging myself into the family of God. Being in Christ, the communion of the saints has never been more precious to me.